Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all well. Recently, Nikon released firmware version 5 for the Nikon Z9. This new firmware included a number of new additions, updates and bug fixes. With this new firmware were a few additions and updates for auto capture. This video mostly concentrates on those updates for the Z9. These auto capture updates are not featured on the Z8 yet as of the time of filming this video but it's most likely it's going to be ported over for the Z8 later, so watch this space. Let me explain some of them. 1. A new additional setting where you can schedule a start time and set a duration. Aircraft are included in subject detection, which was included on the Z8. A new graphical representation is in the display. And revised advanced distance settings. Let's take a closer look. Auto capture is at the bottom of the list in both shooting and video recording menus. Once here, you will have the option to set auto capture or loading and use the preset, but prior to firmware version 5, set was displayed as start. Right, so we're going into auto capture, choose set. Strictly speaking, setting the actual uh, date and time and duration for it to start should actually be done at the end when you set all the other parameters itself. So let's just see, set some other stuff up, and then we can go next by tapping the I button, and then we get to view settings. At the bottom, there is a key symbol. On there, you can press and you set your shooting and duration. First, where it says reserve, choose that, set it to on. Then where it says start time, click on that, Set your start date and your start time. When that's done, click OK. Then finally, the third box is for duration. Set your duration for whatever you want it to be at. Maximum is three hours given on the screen. However, generally speaking, if you're going to be using auto capture, the battery gives you about four hours. Then click OK once that's set. Now your shooting duration has been set. This is where you actually stop walk away and let auto capture do its business. As I said earlier, the distance parameter in auto capture prior to firmware version 5 was limited to the lens focal length times 20. I found that this would cause auto capture to not trigger on small subjects such as very small birds or small voles or mice. This new update does away with that limitation and you can now set the distance how you want notwithstanding the lens's minimum focus distance. In this example, I preset the focus mode and the area AF, then went to set up distances in auto capture, then set up areas. Now trigging can occur within those distances less than the old limit of focal length times 20. Please excuse my very low tech demonstration, as I do not have a garden to set up some feeders, etc. in order for a real world demonstration. However, the birds were printed out true to size, so you can see what can be achieved. And lastly, settings for speed and size. Instead of a simple numerical value, those values are now appear graphically. It does away with me trying to remember what a 5 or a 1 represented. OK, that concludes my guide to the updates concerning auto capture in firmware 5. The updates and additions makes auto capture more versatile, especially the distance settings. However, I'm a bit stumped as to why birds were not added to auto captures as subject detection. Maybe in the future. If you haven't already seen my videos on auto capture and firmware version 5, I include links to those at the end of this video. So all I need to say now is thanks for watching, please subscribe and leave comments. So for now, cheerio.